biggest headline for today the biggest trend maker of to today is agniban sub orbital technology demonstrator that was lifted today at 7:15 am 30th of may mark your dates that was the time we made a very big move in terms of space tech in milestone and it was none other than the indian space startup agni cool where this was successfully launched its first sub orbital test vehicle which was powered by the world's first single piece 3d printed rocket engine after calling off its launch four times previously so very very big move that happened and this was all by agni cool now uh, while it's the second launch uh, by a private startup in india it is the first time to use a private launch pad that the company has set up and uh, in the country's only operational space spot and that is shri harikota so very big move uh, where agni uh, agni ban was launched today 7:15 am and that is what everyone has been talking about agni cool cosmos that's the word that's the company that is in the watch out today and everyone wants to know more about it such a historical moment and historical milestone today for india and we have seen a lot of congratulations coming in for the company whether it's pm modi from isro and everyone across the world is congratulating india on that and agni cool cosmos on that and we have the man of the hour joining in with us today we have uh, shrinath ravi chandran co-founder at agni cool cosmos joining in with us uh, shrinath firstly very big big congratulations to you and thank you so much that you joined in with us this evening on et now and to a launch that has come in for the world's first 3d printer rocket engine you know share the moment share your happiness could you talk to us about that launch what it means for you i'm sure you're it's a very very proud moment for us and it's a proud moment for you as well so talk to us about this launch sure um well, i think uh, i'm still thinking in uh, not fully accepted that the launch has gone really well uh, uh, I, i think uh, it took us about four attempts to get to this point and so uh, you know we were a little nervous about whether everything will go on well in the fifth attempt but i think we had fixed all the issues in the previous four attempts uh this was a very important launch for us because of you know two reasons right one is i think it validated a lot of technology we'll be using in our bigger vehicles in our commercial vehicles uh second i think uh, a lot of tech that we're bringing to the country that has not been in the country before a lot of home grown tech like like 3d printed rocket engines we have a ethernet based you know network inside for the flight computers in the vehicle we have uh, we have we have software running on lenox we are doing it from a private launch pad which is ours i think a lot of those uh, did not exist in india before so yeah happy to have be at the right place at the right time have the opportunity to do it and it really felt good to actually see the rocket fly flawlessly right shrinath you know uh, this was just one of those launches but going further what are the launches that one could watch out for what is it that you are looking at in terms of uh, from the space tech side the business side going ahead and could we see uh, you know more collaborations with isro going ahead what is it that we are watching out for from agni cool yeah i think um, see from a business standpoint we look at customers who do small satellites any customers who are doing a small satellite is you know a target uh, you know per, you know group for us to add value to uh, so these people today usually make imaging satellites or they make uh, communication satellites mostly but a lot of people are figuring out new reasons for going to space we see people going to space for testing we see people going to space for storing data we see people going to space for multiple other reasons so i think that expand that, that that customer base is broadening uh, from a isro partnership standpoint i obviously think we cannot do this in a country without isro i mean isro has accomplished so much they are a big inspiration for us and uh, i think without their hand holding and uh, in space the new body that is also in place to authorize and promote uh, you know uh, launches i think it's going to be it would have been impossible actually to come this far so yeah i think uh, the isro collaboration at least from a review and validation standpoint will always continue right but for your future plans do you think you require to raise more money uh, 
how is uh, the fundraising expected to be and uh, given that the government is also quite uh, focused on uh, the space side they also want to focus on this so how do you see that support also coming in yeah i think there is always a you know if you're doing a tech startup there is always a good place where you can put money to work for you in your favor right it could be vertical integration it could be incremental r and d on your current technologies to add more value to your business uh, or you know enter into new opportunities as well so there is a, and scaling as a big deal for startups in our stage so all of those reasons are why we always are some sort of in a fundraise you know interesting partners to work with from an investor i mean as an investor these are people we always look to you know work with see itself usually it takes a slightly dip so when you people like that we would love to top that that is Srinath, what's more interesting is 3D printing, right? Now, do you think going forward, we'll see more of these spacecraft parts being 3D printed? Is that something that will become a new normal? How much of that is a possibility? And how do you overall see this Indian space industry change? How do we see a move? And do you think, you know, uh, more Indian startups will be participating in it? Uh, yeah, I think 3D printing is being embraced by everyone in the aerospace industry. It has a lot of advantages. Uh, you know, lighter parts are possible, complex parts are possible, and so on. So I think uh, people will embrace it. I and definitely I think with our story getting out, I think more people will be inclined towards testing 3D printed hardware in extreme conditions because a rocket engine goes through amazing amount of uh you know thermal gradients what i mean by that is the temperature difference between a part of the material that is just this thick would be almost to the order of 3000 or 2000 degrees celsius right so that much if a 3d printed component can take a lot of people would be willing to consider it for other applications so yeah i think we are at the cusp of a uh, entire new technique of manufacturing called 3d printing uh you know uh, it it allows you to iterate on hardware at the speed of software there is literally nothing else in the manufacturing world that allows for it so it's a very powerful technique i think uh, companies or industries that are in this sector would love to use it right shrinath and on such a very important day i know uh, you are the person of the hour and you're getting a lot of calls you've been quite busy today but uh, if you could tell us and give one advice to the startup entrepreneurs before i let you go because you know uh, before you see the success there's always a, a stepping stone there's failure before you face the success so what is your one advice uh, to a startup founder especially in the space tech sector uh, how should one be facing the challenges um yeah i think perseverance is key um any startup attempting anything in space tech should remember that success is going to come only after a couple of attempts or maybe a couple of couple of attempts so it's going to take some time and until then you need to be um you know you need to you need to be aligned with what you really want what you're looking forward to you should be able to pick yourself up and your team up in case there is a setback and continue going and yeah i think uh, sooner or later you will be able to get there uh, at least that's what we have practiced at agnicol as a team and i would share the same thing actually if you like this video then like share and subscribe to et now